Hey, Underground Bunker. As you can see, I am outside the courthouse now on day one, Danny Masterson's trial. Uh, today was just jury selection. I got to be the pool reporter. And uh, I was the only reporter in the room for the first uh, half hour or so. And then once they uh, moved some jurors out, they allowed some other reporters in. But, um, I mean, today was just very basic. Judge Olmedo brought in a group of about 70 people, uh, had them fill out a questionnaire. She introduced them to both sides. And uh, Philip Cohen introduced himself, his co-counsel, and the accused, Mr. Masterson. And Danny said, morning, everyone. So um, she just had them fill out the questionnaire and said to come back tomorrow afternoon, and that's, that's about it. Um, and the only other thing that I thought was interesting was uh, she had both parties move into the audience because she had another case she was dealing with. And like I said, more people were able to come into the courtroom because of... Um, you know, some of the jurors had been dismissed. I mean, they had left and everything. And and Danny had brought a friend. And uh, I had I had seen him in the in the hallway, and I recognized him. And so when uh, when they had the two sides move to the audience, Danny nodded at his friend and came over and joined him. Very tall guy. His name is Chris Wadhams. Um, and I don't know how many of you remember that name. He is the good friend who gave his kidney to Bijou Phillips, Danny's wife. So that was Danny's uh, one ally in there today, was his good friend Chris Wadhams. I thought that was interesting. Um, other than that, I mean, it was just a very brief thing. Uh, we'll see another set of potential jurors tomorrow morning. And the ones that did their questionnaires today will come back tomorrow afternoon. And um, so that, that might get a little more interesting. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else uh, I should tell you about from today. I mean, it was just very brief. Um, that's really about it. Uh, and uh, got to meet several of the other reporters who were covering the case. Very, very nice uh, meet, seeing some people I knew. It's interesting because, you know, I, I'll tell you the most, one of the most surprising things for me today, this is... You know, Tuesday, October 11th, the first day of Danny Masterson's trial. And, and over the last few days, we've seen a number of publications put out what in the biz we call curtain raisers, okay? And that is, um, you know, a story just, you know, sort of announcing that the trial is happening and what it's about and some background. And you saw a number of publications do that the last couple of days, and they were all really well done. And I was kind of surprised this morning when I realized that one publication that did not do a curtain raiser was the Los Angeles Times. Now, you know, regular readers of the Underground Bunker know that I have been saying for years that it it's mystifies me why the LA Times is just so incurious about stories involving Scientology and once again you know New York Post wrote a curtain raiser, New York Magazine wrote a curtain raiser, uh, Variety wrote a curtain raiser, they're all well done but the newspaper here in the city where it's actually happening not a word very very odd I know they're probably gonna send a reporter on the day of opening statements which is probably still another week, week and a half two weeks off um, but, uh, it, it's just funny to me that, uh, you know, I asked one of the other reporters, I said, what, you know, no curtain raiser from the LA Times? And his response was, they're busy. <laughs> they got the Harvey Weinstein trial. There's this whole city council problem they've got. No doubt. Absolutely. This is a city with a lot of news going on right now. And the LA Times has its hands full, I'm sure. But, uh, you know, um, it still just surprises me. Danny uh, was wearing a nice blue jacket, gray slacks, gray tie. See, I paid attention to these details today because I was the pool reporter, right? There's a little pressure on me. I got I to gotta give some details to the other reporters. Um, looked uh, pretty much the same as he did last year when I saw him here for his preliminary hearing. Um, Philip Cohen dressed very nicely, snazzy suit. 
But like I said, they did, none of them got to say much today because this was pretty much Judge Olmedo's show and she was just, you know, she had the jurors give, you know, take their oath and that was about it. So uh, tomorrow, well, the same, it'll, it'll begin the same way with another set of potential jurors and then in the afternoon, this first set will come back and they'll have to answer some questions and then things will get, I think things will get a little more interesting. So from the Clara Shortridge Foltz Criminal Justice Center in Los Angeles... This is your proprietor. See you tomorrow.